All right, we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about your career, Fred. But I want to start back at the beginning. Let's go back as Fred Jacobs as a young man. What is your earliest memory of listening to the radio? So I really grew up at the perfect time to be a kid and to be exposed to radio. I mean, I grew up in the '60s, so I and I grew up in Detroit. Well, what an honor, right? So. I had all this incredible radio coming at me from the time I can remember, and I was buying 45s at a really young age. I'm embarrassed to tell you some of the 45s that I bought, but it was all because they were being played on the radio, and that's where kids not just discovered new music, uh, but music in general, and certainly radio and DJs and all that. So yeah, I grew up with Keener and WXYZ and CKLW and all those stations. And, you know, I kind of came into my adult years right when the FM thing started happening with ABX and uh, WXYZ FM, formerly Riff, uh, all that. So, you know, talk about a great time to be growing up radio wise and music wise, right? I mean, right. really the the Beatles. Go- I mean, right. The golden years for for both the medium and the music. So, and yeah, obviously that influenced me in my career. Now, obviously really. the music brought you to the party, but you mentioned personalities a couple times. Personalities would eventually become celebrities, much like the artists that they were playing on the radio. But when you were growing up, you mentioned Keener, and I know that was one of your first. You know where you became a, a fanboy of radio. What were some of the personalities that you were listening? Do you remember some of the names? Oh, sure. Uh, and what's really cool is, in my adult years, in my professional years, I've actually met these guys and and done a little either work or fun with them. But uh, Gary Stevens and uh, Scotty Regan uh, were two of the uh, DJs that I really enjoyed listening to a lot. And I met Scotty uh, later when he was uh, pushing records. And Gary, of course, went on to become a media executive and a radio station broker. And he lives about a mile away from me in Florida. And uh, now and again, we go out and uh, grab a little lunch. And I tell him I grew up listening to him, and he gets a little pissed off. But that's okay. (laughs) 